Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect to your Windows-based EC2 instances in AWS. So if you do not know how to create Windows-based EC2 instances, so I've created a separate video. It will be available in the AWS playlist. You can go and watch that video. Okay, so I'll make sure to drop the link to that video in the description box below. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's get started. Okay, so I've already created a Windows server or a Windows EC2 instance. Before connect to the, connecting to this EC2 instance, you need to make sure two important things are correct. Okay, so the first one is your key pair. So if you do not know what is the key pair that you are using, then you will not be able to connect to this EC2 instance. So the key pair name that I'm using is Windows KP. All right, so I have that key pair with me, so I'm safe here, okay? So the next thing that you need to make sure is allowing RDP port, that is 3389. RDP means a remote desktop protocol. So all the laptops will be coming with RDP installed. So basically, if you're using a Windows laptop, you will have RDP installed but installed by default so you need not install it again so this is how it looks so remote desktop connection it is used to connect to your windows virtual servers okay so i will talk about that how to connect to that later on but right now make sure that in the security group you have allowed rdp port 3389 okay so let me open this security group in the new tab so if you see here, I have opened RDP port 3389 from everywhere, sources everywhere, right? So right now I am able to log into this EC2 instance, okay? So let us now connect to this EC2 instance. So we are all safe. So let us go ahead and connect now, okay? So to connect, select the EC2 instance and click on connect, okay? So here you need to select RDP client. So I showed you previously, right? So this is the RDP connection. So if you want to come, if you want to download the RDP desktop file that is also available, you can download this file. Basically, this will come with a pre pre written uh, username and the host name and everything that will uh, come as you download it. But if you do not want to download, you can open, you can go ahead and search for RDP in your laptop so it will be available to you okay so now i'm not going to download if you want you can download it so we need to retrieve the password or get the password so if you remember i'm using windows key kp that is my key pair so now i want to convert that key pair and get my password so decrypt the key pair and get the password so how to do that you just need to click on this get password and it will ask you to browse to your key pair that you have used okay so you can click on browse so this is the key pair that i was using windows kp i'll select that and click on open so all the things appears here so now click on decrypt password so now if you come down you will have the password so this is the password okay so if you want you can copy that and keep it in a safest place okay so now to connect again so i just want my public ip address okay so i'll get my public ip address of this ec2 instance first so this is the public ip open rdp rdp application and in the computer section provide your public ip address username is if you see here username is administrator For, by default it is always administrator copy and paste that also and click on connect so after you click on connect it will ask you for the password see you need to provide the password so just copy this password on the AWS console and paste it here and click on OK so basically now after this it will ask you to verify if you are a right user click on yes that will basically authenticate you and now after a couple of minutes you will be able to get inside that EC2 instance. So 
if you see you are logging into this ec2 instance as an administrator user okay so this is how you create and connect to windows based ec2 instances in aws okay so it will take couple of minutes as it is a virtual server it needs to set up everything behind the scenes so network needs to be connected all the things it will take some time so approx you can expect 2 minutes of time after that it will be available to you right so now if you see this machine is completely available for my usage okay so that's it for today's video guys if you are liking the content that i'm creating please subscribe to the channel i've noticed that 98% of my viewers have not subscribed to the channel yet okay so that's it for today's video thank you for watching